Productions. It's Tuesday, February 1, 22. <laughs> Almost stumbled there, just as I was getting used to saying 22. It's a new month. It's going to be a month of great opportunity. It's going to be a month of many challenges. And you have come to the right place where you can prayerfully get your feet set and be in the right position for whatever comes. So let's get started. Talking this week about seeking peace or surviving the world. Because we spoke on Sunday of the peace of heaven that is available to us, those who are struggling to find peace may feel left out. So this week we are we are saying that it's okay. If peace is eluding you, join the club. But just because peace is eluding you does not mean that God has forgotten about you. He is with us in the times of our struggles and as much as he is in the time of our successes. God loves you. And he's here to help. In relationship with God, we often talk of the, the blessing of being able to see the world as God sees it. On Sunday, we referenced... God goes through an awful lot of heartbreak while seeking those that will respond. Spoke yesterday of being overwhelmed. Many of times those feelings of over, being overwhelmed come from our own personal struggles. Sometimes those who are in right relationship with God also can feel overwhelmed by what I term today as the human condition. Seeing the world with God's eyes, seeing the potential in others, seeing how God's plan may unfold getting a front row seat to, to share the gospel and his love. What a privilege. But as our eyes are opened, we recognize, perhaps for the first time, just how broken this world is. The world is filled with the lost. The world is filled with the ignorant. The world is filled with wicked people striving to reinvent evil. It makes it very difficult to find peace. And some days we just want to say, I just want to go back to being uninformed. I just want to go back to believing everything's a beer commercial and being selfish and closing out the world and seeking pleasure wherever I can find it is okay. The privilege of serving God, privilege of sharing the gospel with a broken world, comes with 
the realization of just how dark the world is, just how broken it is. And we, it can cause us to struggle to find peace. Isaiah 26, 9. My soul yearns for you in the night. Isaiah had been given a tremendous blessing of being at the foot of our Creator, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the name above all names. But with that privilege came the eyes to see the world for what it was and all its brokenness. Perhaps you can, can commiserate with Isaiah. If you look around and there's conflict and discord and threats of violence, and evil beyond your imagination. My soul yearns for you in the night. In the morning, my spirit longs for you. When your judgment comes upon the earth, the people of the world learn righteousness. That's our prayer. God disciplines those that he loves. We pray that when people are put into a difficult situation, they will turn from their wicked ways and respond and be saved. That's how it's supposed to happen. We can be discouraged when we see God reaching, extending, and time after time his hand is being slapped away. We pray that more would be, would respond, and be willing to stand and repent. That's the on-ramp for everyone. That was the on-ramp for you and I. That's the on-ramp for all those that we desire to, to share the gospel with. Isaiah 26, 10. But when grace is shown to the wicked... They do not learn righteousness. Even a land of uprightness, they go on doing evil and do not regard the majesty of the Lord. If only our days could be filled with sharing the gospel, sharing God's love, and watching the the scales fall from each individual's eyes as they awaken to the love that God desires to share. They respond out of, why didn't anyone ever tell me of this tremendous gift that was available? I've been living my life so foolishly. Thank you for shining the light into the darkness. I will never go astray again. The mission field isn't that easy. We so the seeds that God has provided for us to sow, 
day after day after day. Some respond, more ignore and hate. can make it very difficult for us, those who are striving to live as God has called us to live, to find peace. The human condition is very overwhelming. And oftentimes we feel as if we should just withdraw We've done enough, nobody is interested. Close up shop and find a peaceful place to ride out the storm. That isn't God's will. When you find yourself there, when you find yourself entertaining those ideas, I encourage you to continue to reach for God. to recognize that he has placed you here for a purpose and he will sustain you. And that peace of heaven that we referenced on Sunday is available here and now. But it's going to take perseverance and it's going to take more strength than you have within yourself. Thank you for your faithfulness as we continue to press forward. Don't give up. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. You didn't give up on us, Lord. We gave you every reason to just close up shop and call it a day. Yet it was your will, Lord, to extend the gift of salvation to as many that could receive it. Even if it means that your creation gets corrupted beyond recognition if there is one more that will turn and respond to the gift of your salvation. It's your will that we remain at our post. Pushing the darkness back by being the light. Even when the odds feel ridiculously overwhelming. Lord, we pray for brothers and sisters. We pray that you would build a stronghold. We pray, Lord, that we would win the day. That we would be present when we would see people responding to your gospel message again. We pray for our enemies. We pray for the hopeless. We pray for those that are set against you. We choose to intercede as you have interceded for us since the dawn of time. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege of serving you. Lend us your strength, your wisdom, 
and your love. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Perseverance. Recognizing that peace can be elusive, but it is there for us. Trust in the Lord. Meet you back here tomorrow morning. Know that I love you and I miss you. Please be good. Be good.